What vacuum? I don't claim a vacuum. You do. <laughs> A vacuum is a convenient term that people use to describe an area of no pressure. Well, exactly. Now you, you have, have a different view. What is it about this conversation with this dude? Every time I try and respond, he talks. Yeah, what vacuum? Which vacuum? What what bloody vacuum? Nature abhors a vacuum. There are no natures in no vacuums in nature. What vacuum? I'm not talking about vacuum. I'm talking about space. the the part of the the part of the 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 area above the Earth where the atmosphere is so thin that the molecules are f so spread apart it can't be measured. The pressure can't be measured. Uh, that's a violation of the second law of thermodynamics. If there was an area above the very thin atmosphere, which is gas pressure trying to expand in all directions, right. as oh, a, I'm talking. Go ahead. I you, I pulled that. Permission, old man. You need to shut your mouth. keeping entropy from occurring and keeping them from spreading out. Now, I will give you two examples of two gases that do escape the Earth's gravity and do go out and disperse themselves equally into space, and that's hydrogen and helium because they're so light that gravity can't keep them down over time. They, they mix throughout the atmosphere equally until they get to the upper atmosphere and eventually escape off into space. Sorry, gas doesn't go down with a downward vector of gravity. It goes in all directions. I'm talking. I'm talking. Are you, what is the problem? What's the problem here? Go ahead. I don't need your permission. I need to shut up. Is that clear? Shut up when I talk. I'm telling you, not asking. No, mate. Gas doesn't go down, go boom, boom, like bouncy balls poured into a fish tank and require sweeping up afterwards. It's produced at ground level and makes its way up. That's why men can breathe on Everest. There's not many trees producing gas on Everest, but there's still gas there because it's gone up. It's not down, go boom, boom with a non-force that you can think of as a force that isn't a force of gravity. Quote, Professor Brian Cox, there isn't really a force of gravity at all. End quote. Quote, George Musa, Scientific American. Gravity is not a force. It's not holding gas here. Gas doesn't go down, go boom, boom. You're saying all in a fish yeah. tank, as I conclude my point that demolishes your religious belief that does not in any way overcome entropy. I wasn't arguing gravity, which is not a force, and it doesn't hold gas here to make it go down, go boom, boom, and need sweeping up. And here, up. Okay, done. Okay. You said no gases go down, they all go up and they, because of entropy. Is that correct? Gas fills the availability of volume it has to fill. Right. That's entropy. It fills the space. Nathan, have you ever opened up a box of dry ice? Sorry. Where does the carbon dioxide where does the carbon dioxide go? Does it go up into the atmosphere or does yeah. it go rolling across the ground until it evaporates? Yeah, it eventually disperses and fills the availability and stays towards the ground. Are you deaf? Are no, I'm not deaf. Talking? I can hear you, and I heard you. Shut up. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. Did your mother, f like, not breastfeed you, you or something? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Really? Responds to That's you. enough. Shut up. Yeah. Go ahead, now, Nathan. I'll wait for you. Without interruption from a fundy who's very triggered that, no, mate, dry ice, like any gas, is still subject to entropy eventually, and surprisingly described in the second law of thermodynamics, proportional to time, the gas will fill the space. It's inviolable natural law. Do you find any dry ice or, or carbon dioxide at an altitude of 20,000 feet? But a fine gas that's made its way up, it didn't go down, go boom, boom, like your assertion you haven't conceded. Gas isn't going down. It's I've never said ground level that. and makes its way to the. T I'm still talking. It makes its way up. That's why there's gas on Everest, even though there's very little vegetation producing it. So it's going up. 
you said it was going down, go boom, boom, like bouncy balls poured into a fish tank like that moron Thunderfoot. Gas isn't going down with a vector of gravity. Gravity doesn't give anything a downward vector. It's not a force. So gas isn't going down. You don't have to sweep it up, even though you're false equivalents. But it's still proportional to time with entropy. It will still disperse and fill the availability of volume. Gas fills the space. Debunking space as a medium for you to claim pictures from. You've still yet to address my rebuttal. Uh, yet to address what? My rebuttal that pummels your religious belief in a vacuum that gas isn't filling with entropy. Debunking your claim that we have pictures from a fake place. Okay. Um, first, as far as the gas being distributed equally over time, why is there a lower pressure at the top I of that? Say equally, straw man. Did I you say did. equally? You just said that it distributes equally in all directions. Yeah, gas expands in all directions. We have a dynamic system. Doesn't change the fact that to have gas pressure in the first place, you'd require containment because gas fills the availability of space it has to fill. And your space is a space for gas to fill and fill it it must. It's called entropy. How far up does the gas go? Uh, not into a sky vacuum with pictures being taken of moon. I know. People. You know, so you can see your moon pictures are fake then. No, I'm asking how far up does it go in your world? Because in my world, it goes up to the edge of the space. Reversal of burden of proof. You're claiming space and pictures from there, even though you've not been. And the place is fake. You can't take pictures from a second law of thermodynamics violation sky vacuum. The gas we breathe would fill the space. Well... According to your belief, the gas is supposed to fill the space. Sorry, and what I observe and argument and claim is about a sky vacuum with pictures. Don't straw man me for the third time. Oh, just but you, every yeah. time every time I, I start a, con a conversation. OK, I, let's go back to my topic. Of, uh, your topic is or your rebuttal of my topic, which is basically that the pictures were taken out in space. My assertion is, is that. Because there's air pressure down at the surface of the Earth of 14 millibars or 14 pounds per square inch at sea level is because gravity, the force of gravity, is pulling all those gases towards the Earth and basically causing that air pressure. And that it loses it, it loses the density as you go further up into the atmosphere. In fact, by the time you get to a certain point, you run out of the gases. There are no more gases at least not in enough to detect, and you're out in open space. That's what I believe in. Okay? Yeah, I know and what your fundamentalist you religious belief is. You don't have to parrot it off to me like I don't know what you're saying. It's not a religious belief. Gravity's I'm talking. proven. I'm talking. I didn't interrupt you while you parroted off your religious fundy belief about what the sky is, based on an assertion that a force is making gas go down, go boom, boom, like a solid bonded bouncy ball that you'd need sweeping up. Gas does not do that. You've ignored me. I've explained gas fills the availability of volume. And I've also given you two quotes, one from George Musa, editor, Scientific American, and another from Professor Brian Cox. You've ignored both of them and repeated your fundamentalist religious belief in the face of my rebuttal and quotes from your faith-based priests. So I'll repeat them, and I'd like you to repeat them back to me, so you don't say for the third time, ignoring me completely, that gravity's a force. It isn't, quote, Professor Brian Cox. It's an effect. Excuse me, whoever's talking, can you shut up? Professor Brian Cox, quote, there isn't really a force of gravity at all, end quote. Also, George Musa, gravity is not a force. These go on. I could give you a dozen of them. It's not a force. It's not making gas go down, go boom, boom, so you can have a religious faith in a sky vacuum. Gravity is not overcoming entropy. I'd like you to repeat at least one of the quotes that make it explicitly clear that gravity is not a force to hold gas here. Can you repeat those or are you deaf? 
Not probably deaf, but let's go ahead and explain no, whether gravity is a force them. or not. You can repeat them, not tell me that you are deaf and then ignore them. Gravity is not a force. Gravity is a phenomenon. Gravity is not a force. You keep, you've asserted it twice. That's irritating. You've ignored me. It's a phenomenon. It's not a force. It's not holding gas here. It's not overcoming entropy. You have ignored me. No, I haven't ignored you. I told you that gravity is a phenomenon, and it's, it's not basically... a force holding gas here. Quote, Where's the word force being used? Are you? I'm using the word. I'm using a word that is not force. Yeah, so it's not holding gas here. It's not forcing it down towards the ground. Then no, the gravity, the the, 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 the gases are going to go. You seem to be ignoring me. You stuttering, babbling, fundy moron. Not a force. Not holding gas here. Not giving you a sky vacuum. Nathan, would it make you happy if I just went ahead and said, okay, there's no gravity. There's no gravity, no, no space, and I'm wrong. You haven't got gas not expanding into a sky vacuum in violation of natural law, overcome by a non-actual force. You've lost. Just one last question. How do my balls taste? <laughs> I don't know, Nathan. You know, I, I really don't know because I didn't well, think you had any balls. Yeah, well, outer space is fake. If the sky was vacuum, fake. the gas we breathe would fill the space. That's, That's me not true. destroying your claims of pictures from a fake place. So that would be me teabagging you, old man. Me teabagging your fundy faith in space that isn't real because entropy is violated by your faith in this fake place that no picture has ever been taken from. Enjoy the taste of my salty nuts. You might have to, you might have to debar and debag him for him, bro. He's kind of old. You know, Nathan, the only question I would like to ask now that we're off topic, I hope we can I don't off. care. I'm not interested in your question. You're a fundy. I want you to concede. See, the that's just my point. Taken. You're interested in trying to debunk my, my theory of gravity of I basically did. the phenomenon I of gravity. No, you haven't. I you did. haven't proved no, gravity. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I'm annoyed with this already. Will you I concede did. that gravity is not a force? Sorry, Nathan. Will you concede it's that not gravity not. is not a force? I concede. Right, it's one. So so oh, here's, here's the thing. Can I have thing. him back, please? Can I have him back? He doesn't he have to do. Force. So, so therefore, gas isn't somehow defeating entropy with this force you've just conceded isn't a force. So the pictures are fake. Space is fake. No. Uh, if the sky no, is not. vacuum, the gas we breathe would fill the space. Just saying no with a hand wave doesn't change my Right, problem. you can't verify any of that shit, so just admit you live in a belief system, bro. It goes against natural law, but yet you still accept it because you got a picture. It's not going against natural law. Yes, it, it is. It is. Sky vacuum by oh, natural law. Show me how. And, 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 Entropy is a natural law, dude. Let me just repeat. That. I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say all the gases on the Earth are leaving the would have to leave the Earth into space forever. Yeah, making space fake. Well, and high no pressure does tend to seek low pressure in equilibrium. Mate, I've got a concession from Mill. I'd like to just have him back again. Now he's actually conceded because he thought I was going to disappear from the conversation, but now he's realised after concession that makes the pictures you claimed. The only, thing I, the only thing I conceded to is that it's not a force. It's There's an interaction. No it's a fundamental gas. interaction, one of the four it's weak fundamental gas. interactions so it's in physics. It's not holding gas, as you claimed, in rebuttal. So your it's rebuttal, it's why isn't it filling the space? Who's talking? Why isn't it filling the space, I ask? Rebuttal, gas uh, is holding it here. Really? No, it's not. It's not a force. So therefore, your rebuttal fails not holding gas here, so the gas would fill the sky vacuum you call space, making it fake. Right, can you, can you demonstrate, practical demonstration, this attraction that you're talking about? Attractive force? On gas. Drop a ball. 
Oh, no, no, no. Carbon dioxide gas. Yeah, no, I did. No, no, no. That, said, no, that's what Nathan pointed out. Gases don't drop like balls, so don't drop a ball. Because gas isn't bonded. It has oh. vectors of everywhere. Gravity is a vector of down, opposed to the vector of what gases do. You know as well as I do that to stop gas going in the direction, you have to physically stop it with a barrier. No barrier, the gas is going to keep going. So you understand this. No, no carbon dioxide has ever gone any higher than 20, 25,000 feet, period. None. How the hell do you know? How the hell do you know? Number one, how do you know? Number two. Measurements have been taken up there. The atmosphere up there is mostly you know, nitrogen, uh, oxygen, and oh, mostly helium and, and hydrogen. A lighter did gas. You ver did so, you oh, verify fine. that also? Sorry, no worries. I don't have to, not me personally, no, I haven't oh, verified. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's painful because that's more. the one thing that's blowing your, your theory all to hell. Because yeah, but it's here never it is, been it's just just rolling out of the box and laying there. on that's the floor. Over me. That's what the problem is. I'm trying to respond, and the guy who I've asked three times, please, just, when I'm at, when I'm talking <laughs> at him, please. No, no offense, bro, but this is the open platform. Yeah, I realise that's why I'm asking you, pleading with you to shut the fuck up. Pleading with you. Listen, bro, don't talk to me like that. I'm not the one, okay? I'm, I'm affording you the opportunity to speak on my platform. I'm trying to defeat the fundy, and you're not helping. That's all I'm saying. I know yeah, yeah, listen, bro, you need to understand we afford you the opportunity to use our, our platform. So, oh, no so offense, but privileged. at least don't go. Up. Listen, don't cuss me up. out, motherfucker. You shut the fuck up or I'll shut you up. Okay, go on then. He's don't fucking go at me like that. I don't give a fuck how many YouTube videos uh, you do. You, I know, I'm not. I, I'm not your fucking fan. Don't talk to me like I'm beneath you. The fun day. I'm just trying to talk to. The I heard day. that the three times before that you said it. Yeah, mate. I'm don't talk to me thing. like you talk to them, boy. And I'm not gonna say it again. I said please, and you told me about you how I'm top of fuck. Shut the fuck up, please. I said fuck I said, you. Please, I said, please, please fuck please. off. All right, guys. All right, right guys. All right, guys. Oops, yes. Thank you, your guys. Ass. The fuck out of here. Please fuck we, off. We get the point. It's an open platform, Nathan. Have a go at him. We're back and forth. We'll go for it or right. just continue the conversation. Yeah, I'm trying. Dude, I know. Thank Dude, you, Dude, keep it up. Do I wait for him to tolerate me talking, or what do I do now? No, Nathan, it's all yours. Carry on. Up, okay, I'll try. And I'll try get out of there at me. No, see, I can't. I can't. Nathan, oh. if you want to 1v1 him, just say uh, you challenge the guy. Yeah, that's simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. That, 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 arena. Yeah, that, that, that way, that way, that way, God, that way. Not shut up. If you want to one v one him, just nobody else will be able to interrupt you. you. I just get talking. Listen, dog. I'm gonna put it this way. I didn't get all bitch fit when you interrupted my conversation. I didn't go all bitch fit when you interrupted my conversation. I only expect the same. Please, I asked you, said please, and then you gave me some lecture about it being public. Let's go. Conversation. Gas pressure. Vat container. Let's go. Cut to me out when you throw please. I just stuff. can't let it go. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. You you act like no you, you're too dumb to figure it the fuck out. Her, so no more fundy debate. Oh, we get it, man. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, if we were in the same room, you'd already be in your team. Get it, everyone. Just let's. Can we have the uh, debate? It was quite interesting. I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nathan, I believe it's your turn. <laughs> I've already demolished you. I, 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 I'm well, you, have, you. You still haven't explained to me why carbon dioxide doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go up. Period. It does. It, it Show does. me examples of, uh, of, of proof. That, literally, I say it does, and then try to explain that with entropy, it's proportional to time, as described in the second law of thermodynamics. It absolutely will fill the availability of volume. It will disperse. It's called entropy. Now, somehow you think that getting carbon dioxide very cold somehow violates entropy, a natural law. It doesn't. You are wrong. It will absolutely disperse. That's what gas does. doesn't matter which gas. You can show me the most dense gas there is. You can show me sulfur hexafluoride and say, look, it's right at the bottom of this tank. It will still be subject to entropy proportional with time. 
All gases are then unbonded, without exception. Now, the fact remains, to summarise my point, the gases are not going down with gravity. You've conceded, not a force. It was, however, your only rebuttal to why gas wouldn't continue in its all vectors to fill the space it has as per the law of nature that is entropy. It would fill the space, and your only rebuttal, which you've conceded, was there's a force holding it here, making it down like bouncy balls. Even though I told you three times it doesn't go down like bouncy balls, and you've replied, drop a ball. No, gas expands in all directions to fill the availability of volume, and would fill the sky vacuum if space was real. Okay, um, I did. I took out the word force for you. I will not take out the word fundamental interaction, which is the interaction between the mass of the Earth and the molecules of gas. And the mass of the Earth will supersede those molecules of gas, causing them to be attracted towards the Earth because of what is known as gravity. Gravity is not a force. It's an interaction between two bodies. One of the smallest bodies in the known universe, the atom, and the other one being the mass of the actual Earth, which is composed of billions of, of atoms. Sorry. Sorry, you said this word four times. What's mass? Mass, the, 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 the weight or the heavy, the, 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 the basically the... Um... Oh, give me a break. I'm an old man. Yeah, it's not. It's a downward vector. It's it's in, inferring weight, right? That's what mass infers when you say it, and that implies a downward vector of gravity. Well, number one, wrong. You're out of date by 105 years. It's bending geodesics in space time based on the uneven distribution of mass. Well, that's not mass attracting mass. That's 105 years out of date. That's Newtonian slash Cavendish slash Reverend John Michel slash C.V. Boy's gravity superseded by Einstein 105 years ago. It's also not a force holding gas here in violation of entropy. Space is still fake, still no rebuttal from you, just a reassertion that the Earth's mass is holding gas here. That would be giving it a downward vector, making it require sweeping up? No. You've just reasserted gas is being held by a force of gravity again with some Weasley words that turn it into an attraction between an Earth you assume is a massive sphere and the gases. That's a force. It's not a force. I never said it was a force. I said it was an interaction between the mass of the Earth and the mass of the atom. And that is a physical measure of the body of the atom and the body of the Earth. And it, by the way, you can, uh, you can really measure mass based on acceleration. So, so you, you, you know, define uh, mass. Sorry, right. you're gonna have to you're gonna have to help me. You're gonna have to do two things. One, you're gonna have to very specifically define mass, and then you're gonna have to tell me how mass physically interacts with mass physically over there at distance, whilst not physically being in contact with it. I've just How told does that you. That? Just told you what he does. He's going to invoke. Did no one listen to? Him? It seems like no one listens. Yeah. He's invoked no, 105 no. year out of debt mass attracting mass rhetoric. And I even quoted who gave you the very shit he's reciting. C. V. Boys, Reverend John Michelle, Cavendish, Newtonian gravity. That's what he's saying. I also corrected him on his current rhetoric of bending geodesics in space time. And now you're like define mass. Why? He hasn't got any containment around his sphere Earth with a vacuum. Well, that would be a violation of natural law, making his claim that pictures from this place are fake. Why do we need to define mass? It doesn't help him getting around his fake space vacuum. Because he's just tightening a word and he doesn't know what it space is. is it's space fine. is not a vacuum like what you're looking, what you're trying to... Are you defining a vacuum as the lack of material or what are you defining the vacuum as? Low pressure. Uh, what vacuum? What are you defining the vacuum of space as? Because I, I space is not 100% a vacuum. It's a differential. So High pressure, low pressure. Of course, of course. What vacuum? I don't claim a vacuum. You do. <laughs> the vacuum is a convenient term that people use to describe an area of no pressure. What exactly. Vacuum? Now what you have a differential. What is it about this conversation with this dude? Every time I try and respond, he talks. Yeah, what vacuum? Which vacuum? What what bloody vacuum? Nature abhors a vacuum. There are no natures in no vacuums in nature. What vacuum? 
I'm not talking about vacuum. I'm talking about space. the the part of the the part of the 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 area above the Earth where the atmosphere is so thin that the molecules are f- so spread apart, it can't be measured. The pressure can't be measured. Uh, that's a violation of the second law of thermodynamics. If there was an area above the very thin atmosphere, which is gas pressure trying to expand in all directions, right? as oh, I'm talking. Go ahead. I you I pulled back. Permission, old man. You need to shut your mouth. Was your mother not teaching you how to show up when people talk? Did your mother ever teach you to be polite? Yeah, I was talking and you interrupted me. I know, and I said, excuse me. It seems That's being polite. Projecting. It seems you're talking through me now, projecting how unbelievably intolerable you are based on your mother's poor education of you. I was in the middle of a sentence you interrupted, and then you gave me permission to talk. You are poorly educated by your ignorant mother. You want to insult my mother? Oh, you know, my mother died in 1992. I never Your met her. I was adopted. Continually interrupt. Yes, yeah, so you haven't got around the sky vacuum problem. You're still asserting gravity, not conceding that the pictures you claim proving your nonsense religion are taken from a fake place. Entropy, that low, thin gas that you described, has pressure. That would be wanting to expand in all directions at high speed, no matter how thin it is. And you know what it wants to expand into? Any available volume. That's why it made its way up from the ground to, say, the top of Everest, to be thin. It's produced at ground level and makes its way up because it's expanding in all directions. And if the sky was a vacuum, an available volume for it to fill, it would fill it. You still have yet to address this. I've pummeled gravity. That's all you had. You haven't pummeled gravity. I don't know where you've pummeled gravity. Tell me. I didn't say it was a force. It's an attraction between two two bodies. It's it's the attraction between two bodies based on their mass. So it's not forcing gas to do anything then, is it? It's convenient for you to say there's no gravity when you're here on Earth, but the minute I put you out there and somewhere between the Earth and the moon and I stick a tennis ball four yards away from you and say the two of you are going to eventually touch each other and there's nothing you can do about it because you can be flailing your arms all you want out there. And... Oh, I'm done with fucking fairy tales. Oh, every time this I'm dude's writing a fairy tale, bro. Every time. So, no, mate, there is no you giving me a demonstration of this place you've never been to. It's fake. If that place that you've just described was an empty space for the gas we breathe to fill, it would be filling it. It's called entropy. You're still yet to address that. You've just given me a, an appeal to this nonsense place that you believe in that I've debunked with entropy. You haven't rebutted it with gravity. It's not a force. You keep saying nonsense place you believe in, which is a flat earth, which is a nonsense place. Sorry. It's like believing there's a dome over the earth. That's a nonsense place. Oh, oh God. Nonsense. Let me just add God. on. God. Yeah, God. God. So, I, you know, I touched your holy oh, grail of oh, 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 hey, so Let him go. Let him, apology. Oh, shut up. Let him go, bro. We've already been at mothers and disrespect nonstop. We might as well just keep letting them go on. So, no, no, but no, I'm going to give you a warning. Don't, don't ever have a damn thing to say about my mom. I just pe- wish people would stop talking about my mother since I never got a chance to meet her. Yeah, man, leave people's mothers alone. And if you're going to invoke gravity, talk about Nikola Tesla or shove it. No, no, that's, just a, that's a good one. So, did we get a concession to my original uh, question there? Question there? What was the original I question? I think we're so far from the, oh. where the conversation was, bro. None of us got shit. <laughs> Well, I don't think we got a concession from this guy. I don't think we're going to get one. But essentially what I said was, uh, are, are those photographs admissible? Because they're in a, uh, because they are taken in Middle Earth or whatever. I used all those examples. So essentially, are they admissible as evidence for your supposed globe? Say you, sir. Okay, first let's address your, your, your photos of Middle Earth. If I knew you as a person and I trusted you as being a rational person, and you said you went to Middle Are Earth. Are they admissible I'm... or not? Oh, my God. You're a politician, a my friend. You in must please law? just answer my question. Are you talking about the, the pictures from NASA? Are they admissible or are the pictures you're talking about? Because I'm a little confused. It's been a while. I'm not your trying pictures. to be, you know. Talking about the, your pictures that you claim to have. Thank you. Of, of the Earth. Of course they're admissible. 
Because the general, okay, the, the, I don't, I'm trying to figure out what the legal term is that if, if, a, if, if a judge has given this evidence and the preponderance of evidence is that the majority of the population also agrees with this evidence. It's not verifiable. It, a lot of times not things go over how space could not exist. We, did Nathan no, just not go over that with you? Like, but he went through it in great detail. Yeah, he claimed that he debunked me. He claimed that he, he that my that gravity doesn't exist. He, you know, he wants to say gravity doesn't exist at all. He says it doesn't exist. It's a fairy tale. But then they, I'm going to say, well, God doesn't exist. It's a fairy tale. I'm going to say no, that you no, know. No, 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 I'm no, sorry. Can I start? It's the same something? belief. He calls I'm it a religious belief. Down there. It, I'm not talking about God. We don't have to start talking about God. When it's but Nathan brought up my religion. If you need words. to talk about gravity, then you need to bring a scientific experiment yeah, that proves yeah. it. In Nathan's defense, he didn't say all oh, gravity is fake. He said it's not a fucking force. It doesn't attract, and you can't demonstrate any attraction. You walk past that shit to do your political naysay. If a preponderance of the evidence is believed by the majority, listen, the majority can be wrong too, bitch. That's not verifiable.